yes welcome everyone welcome to free life science class this is a new channel so if you like my video please please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will get notifications of upcoming videos so let's move on to the topic differentiation in plants okay so what is differentiation actually means we can simply say that differentiation leads to growth so what is growth growth means it is a permanent or irreversible increase in the size of an organ or part of an individual cell is called growth suppose if you take a cell it will divide into two again this will divide further further and further so suppose we are uh, discussing uh, now we are discussing about the plant so what will happen if cell divides a cell divide it will increase the length of the plant or width of the plant so growth means it's a permanent change that is permanent increase happen to that plant so how this growth is done in a plant it is usually accompanied by metabolic process which use energy so a growth need lots of energy so this growth is accompanied by metabolic process means there are lot of pathways and a lot of metabolic processes which will lead to a plant growth and each of the process and each pathway require energy so what is uh, something different about plant is plan have an indefinite growth it have an indefinite growth it can grow unlimitedly that is it can do grow indefinitely but, but but when comparing to animal cell the animal cell can grow till some age but after that age it can cannot grow okay so cell cannot grow after some age but in animal cell cell divides but it will not make a growth so in plants they retain the capacity for unlimited growth throughout their life so this become possible because of the presence of meristem so there are certain tissues called meristem which gave the plant an indefinite growth or unlimited growth this type of growth can be called as open form of growth okay this type of growth in which new cells are always being added is called open form of growth okay about differentiation in plants what is differentiation differentiation means a formation of a new cell from the precursor cell so there is a precursor cell from this when this precursor cell divide it will form a new cell this is called as differentiation but the function of these cells and this cell is not necessary that this function are same so this can move to leaf de leaf development this can go to stem development etc like that so it is a process in which cell of the root and shoot apical meristem and the campium mature to perform specific function in this process lots of structural changes occur within the plant cell that means 
what is this structural changes so we can we know that when we sow a seed when this seed germinate and it will develop into a new plant is this plant look like a seed it's not that like seed isn't it this is not like seed it is different from, that is it it is made a structural change that is when growth forms when the growth occurs what happens different types of changes will happen inside the system that means the plant inside the plant so if you saying that a plant consists of dozens of basic cell type and they have different functions for their survival and there are some other cells that are required for reproduction sexual reproduction so plants have different types of cells some will help in the survival of that plant some will help in reproduction for example suppose we are taking two type of cell a parenchymal cell as well as water conducting cell this parenchymal cell have the ability to respond to environmental as well as hormonal signals so that when they receive some signals that is when they receive some environmental or hormonal signals they can be transformed into another cell this process is termed as trans differentiation that means when a cell have the potential to respond to environmental stimulus or hormonal stimulus they can transform into new cell type this is termed as trans differentiation but when we compare it with water conducting vessel elements after certain divisions they undergo cell death they cannot undergo trans differentiation they uh, that means their pathway is what this cell that that is apoptosis after certain type of growth they the cell want to go for cell death that is apoptosis so they never trans differentiate into another cell type so water conducting vessel elements cannot trans differentiate into another cell they will undergo cell death if they receive environmental or hormonal stimulus they cannot undergo trans differentiation so there are different types of cell we can see in the plant and two more um point is de differentiation and re differentiation de differentiation means if a cell lost its ability to divide suppose the cell lost its ability to divide so it cannot give rise to a daughter cell or it cannot give rise to a new cell but when we give certain conditions environmental stimulus or any hormonal stimulus or any other stimulus if we give them they can divide when we give some stimulus they can divide such cell are said to be undergone de differentiation so in this process the cells that have lost the capability to divide regains its dividing property under certain conditions so such cell we can say that such cell undergone de differentiation the next process is re differentiation that is again de uh, re differentiation is happening that is the cell divide and produce cells which once again lose their dividing capacity but matures to perform specific functions so this cell divide to produce new cells 
which once again lowers their dividing capacity. So once this cell is differentiated into two new cells, now it cannot differentiate, but in redifferentiation, it again undergo differentiation and they perform specific function. They mature and give specific function. So this type of differentiation is termed as redifferentiation. So this is simple diagram of division of a cell to give two new cell. This is the cell plate formation between the two new cells that is when a cell divide what happens a first thing is the cellular contents will double after that a cell plate will develop after the formation of cell plate it will divide into two new cells so this is the picture of division of a cell now we can see what happens to a seed when we sow a seed in the soil it will germinate and it will produce a new plant so in its life cycle that is when we see a, when we sow a seed what happens to uh, the seed in its life cycle it germinate and after the full growth of the plant what will happen senescence will come that is why the leaves are falling it is senescence so this process include all the steps like cell division elongation differentiation maturation etc so when we look to the life cycle of the seed what we can see we can see cell division elongation of cells differentiation maturation etc then the cell division occurs in the meristematic tissues once again the term meristematic is coming into our slide what is meristematic tissue this meristematic tissue are highly dividing tissues in a plant cell so cell division occur in the meristematic tissue due to which the cell elongation or expansion might occur so the continuous division of meristematic tissue leads to the increase in the length or it will increase the width so these cells undergo a process of differentiation and form mature cells which undergo senescence or aging and they ultimately die off so this is the whole developmental process that takes place in a plan during its development so development process is considered as the sum total of growth and differentiation so sum total of growth plus differentiation is the development process okay everybody you understand okay let's move into another point that is in some plants such some uh, processes are controlled by certain stimulus or any factors what are they so the development process of the plants are controlled by various factors they might be intrinsic such as genetic factors or uh, extrinsic factors so sorry so some some may be intrinsic factors like genetic factors and some can be extrinsic factor that is chemical factors like light temperature nutrients water oxygen etc so the stimulus that are coming from inside of the plant is termed as intrinsic 
so hormonal influence we can say it as an inf intrinsic factor but temperature nutrients water ph oxygen etc we can say it as an extrinsic factor or chemical factor that is they are coming from outside and influence the plant development okay so the next point is about plasticity in plants plasticity means plants show different phases in their life hmm? and they show different structures in their life that means when they are growing they have different pathways that their that pathways which respond to their environment and they show different phases in their life and show different kinds of structures so this is termed as plasticity for example this is the two leaf of the same plant this leaf uh, is the structure when it is in the juvenile condition and this is the structure of leaf when this plant come into an adult phase so this uh, type of change structural change is we can call it as plasticity that is they show different phases or different structures in lifetime so this condition that is the shape changes we can call it as heterophily this is a condition in which a shape of the leaves in young plant as well as in mature plant are different and this is found in plants like cotton coriander etc okay so you understand about the plasticity and heterophily okay okay next move into another slide here you can see some phases of growth what is phases of growth means that means what happens to a plant we can divide these phases into three that is meristematic elongation phase and maturation phase so what happens in meristematic phase in meristematic phase it is constantly dividing cell you know that in the apical meristem of shoot as well as root it is continuously dividing the apical meristem is continuously dividing so this meristematic phase means the cell is continuously dividing continuously dividing the cell the cells of the meristematic region are rich in protoplasm and possess large conspicuous nuclei conspicuous nuclei means the cell have a dominant nuclei dominant one so if you look through a microscope you can see the nuclei dominant nuclei that is large conspicuous nuclei so the meristematic tissue are rich in protoplasm and the conspicuous nuclei so the cell wall of the cell are primary in nature thin cellulosic with abundant plasmodesmetal connection what is this plasmodesmeta plasmodesmeta as the connection between two cell this is the connection between two cell this is the plasmodesmeta so there are numerous abundant number of plasmodesmeta in meristematic phase so that the transfer of nutrients will take place easily the next is elongation phase from the name itself elongating increase in the length increase in the length so the proximal cells which are just next to the meristematic zone represent the phase of elongation so uh, which is the zone it is next to the meristematic this is the meristematic tissue just below it or just to it just below the meristem is about 
that is the elongation phase in this phase there is increased vacuolation cell enlargement and new cell wall deposition so that the plant can increase their length or increase in their width sorry increase in their length okay next about maturation phase okay what is maturation phase maturation phase is next to the elongation phase that means it is the maturation sound maturation sound lies just next to the maturation phase so this is the meristem so when meristem get div divided what we get we get an elongated stem that is when by elongation phase after the elongation what will happen ah uh, what will happen the complete growth will takes place that is maturation of that cells maturation of that cells after the elongation phase what will come a maturation phase will come so in this phase what happens the cell of this sound attain maximal size the complete growth in terms of wall thickening and protoplasmic modifications so in this phase what happens a complete growth will takes place that is complete growth in the sense that complete growth of that cell so complete growth will takes place that is maximal size will attain so in this process what are the uh, process taking place wall thickening protoplasmic modifications are taking place in the maturation phase so something more about meristem that is meristem is a plant tissue that is made up of undifferentiated actively dividing cell so meristem is made up of undifferentiated actively dividing cell so it is a fundamental function of growth what is the fundamental uh, function of growth for division that is division so division is a fundamental growth of sorry fundamental function of growth so meristem is continuously dividing that is the fundamental function of the growth so some of the cell continue to give rise to new cell by cell division while other develop into differentiated cell so cell division will result in growth and differentiation will result in development of certain structures that is for example of the plant is growing like that this tip will grow continuously but the lateral side will develop into leaf or any branch etc like that so this is differentiated into structures branches leaves flowers seeds fruits so they will they will differentiate into different types of cells or they can differentiate into different uh, cells uh, like in parenchyma cells water conducting cells or they can differentiate into epidermis trichomes phloem vascular tissues etc so some meristem will continuously give rise to new cell by cell division and some will undergo differentiation and give rise to epidermis trichomes phloem vascular these are uh, some cells in the plants basically we are classified the meristem into two a primary meristem primary meristem means the meristem 
which give rise to the new cell by cell division and secondary meristem what is secondary meristem secondary meristem will give rise to specialized structure okay so it is classified into primary and secondary although this is based on the nature of cell giving rise by the meristem so this classification is based on the formation of cells from the meristem and by the position of the meristem we can classify this meristem into apical meristem lateral meristem intercalary meristem so in this picture you can see that in minute so in this picture you can see that apical meristem at the tip this is the intercalary meristem and this is the lateral meristem lateral meristem will give rise to lateral buds this is the intercalary meristem between the nodes okay this is all about the meristem so the meristem will give rise to so the primary meristem a primary meristem is the type of meristem responsible for the primary growth of plants that is to increase length height etc in plants so an example of the primary meristem is the apical meristem it is the apical meristem now we have seen the what is apical meristem so it is located at the tips of the apices of plant it can be seen on the shoot apices or at the root apices so meristem can be seen in the shoot as well as tip of the root so in vascular plants the apical meristem may develop into protoderm procambium and the ground meristem okay in vascular plants the apical meristem can develop into protoderm procambium and ground meristem so the meristem that give rise to the epiderm is in particular is referred to as protoderm so the meristem who give rise to epiderm is is termed as protoderm so what is protoderm protoderm is a meristem that give rise to epiderm is it is located outside the stem it is located outside the stem so you can see some protodermal cells here so protodermal cells undergo dna synthesis to form trichome precursor this trichome precursor then what is the next uh, function taking place cell expansion by cell expansion it will form an immature trichome then nucleus will migrate into this area so branching will takes place maturation of protoderm will happen okay now so cell trichome will differentiate so from uh, protoderm cell so this is all about this video so once again if you liked my video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and please click on the notification bell so that you will get notification when i upload next videos so please support me thank you for watching my video